Hi, my name is Rao. I'm a master's student at Mola Stokotman University in the Department of Geological Engineering. Today I'm going to realize the particle size analysis. I hope this short video will be helpful for the student laboratory lessons. Particle size analysis is used in geotechnical engineering to classify soils easily. Particle size analysis is consists of two groups, sieve and hydrometer analysis. Sieve analysis is used for coarse grain fraction of materials, but the hydrometer is used for fine grain materials. Materials that pass sieve number 200 is considered fine grain materials. Ok, let's start the analysis. In order to realize the particle size analysis, we need some tools like electrical balance, sieve number 200, thermometer, hydrometer with the STM standard 152, timer, mixer, two glass jar with 1000 ml capacity, distilled water, and sodium hexametaphosphate. First of all, we have to make our samples powder and seal it seal number 200. I did it before for the purpose of the analyze. For the hydrometer analyze, we need 50 gram samples. That's why we weigh the 50 gram samples. After weight 50 gram samples, add the 125 ml sodium hexametaphosphate solution to the samples. In order to make 125 ml sodium hexametaphosphate solution, 5 gram sodium hexametaphosphate mixed with the distilled water. Unfortunately, we don't have any glass jar with capacity 125 ml. That's why I'm, I'm going to use uh, 250 ml glass jar and after that cover the solution with a wet towel and leave it one hour sodium hexametaphosphate don't let the particles stick together during that time we can uh, prepare our control jar in order to make the control jar again we need 5 gram sodium hexametaphosphate and mix with the 125 ml distilled water. You can the stir actually is better way to mix it. Okay. It's going to mix. Okay. It's mixed. It's mixed over. So Put the 125 sodium hexametaphosphate solution to the control jar. And fill the control jar with the distilled water until the water level 1000 ml. After one hour, put the sodium hexametaphosphate soil solution into the dispersion cup. Make sure that you don't have any loose materials in the glass. All the materials transfer from the glass to the dispersion cup. Okay. 
Fizze dispersion cup, fizze distilled water, until the water level cuts the half of the dispersion cup. Mix the solution two minutes by the shake mixture. solution again use a scrub bottle all the materials transfer into the dispersion cup okay put the solution into the sedimentation jar and again Again, use a scrub bottle, transfer all the material from the dispersion part to the sedimentation jar. Okay. Fill the cup with the distilled water until the water level. 1000 milliliter so I'm going to use squirt bottle to transfer all the materials into the sedimentation jar and also manage the level carefully After that, cup the sedimentation jar by the rubber stopper to aggregate. Unfortunately, we don't have a rubber stopper, that's why I'm going to use to that glass. But of course, it's better to use the rubber stopper. So, after closing the sedimentation jar, carefully aggregate the solution turning it upside down and back 60 times in a minute I mean that one two three four sixteen and that's because I didn't use the rubber stopper that's why I have some loose materials so let's feel a little bit. Okay. So start the time. At the two minutes of the time, we will take the first reading of hydrometer and temperature. But before that, we have to take the control jar reading. It is six. Not it somewhere. So it's going to be two minutes. Take out the hydrometer and put it into the sedimentation jar carefully. Record the hydrometer reading top of the dirty water. Okay. Now, it is thirty six. And take out the hydrometer and put it into the control jar.
and insert the thermometer into the sedimentation jar and take the temperature reading. It is 26. Continue to take the hydrometer and temperature reading at the approximate ellipse time of 4, 8, 16, 30, 60 minutes and 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, uh, 64 and 86 hours.